What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Chris from Universe X, and I'm actually back on another lunch break to put up some videos. Yesterday, I was pretty tired. Work was uh, kind of a lot, and I just driven back from North Carolina and stuff like that, so I ended up just <clears throat> kind of clonking out. But um, no, I actually wanted to get into a lot of stuff. We're going to be going into a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things um, over the next couple of days. Uh, my own tournament report, um, some top profiles. We're going to be going uh, over some of the new discussion points because we got some really, really, really juicy news. And uh, there's just going to be a lot of content coming, so I'm sorry for the drought pre this tournament. Um, but without further ado, I would like to jump right into the deck profiles for the third place um, Team Wars team, uh, Team Super Vegeta Bros. And I just thought the decks were cool and I really liked the way they played and piloted. So I just kind of wanted to show that to you guys. Um, mind you, Matt Sublet got first place in singles with a deck that really wasn't too far off from this one. Like, I mean, like a couple cards just because, you know, Team Wars, you got to switch things up a little bit. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm currently at 24 out of 25 subscribers necessary for me to send out the yellow Broly. And then we need another 25 subscribers after that for me to send out the green Broly leader cards. So um, just remember, I'll put the link to the uh, contest right down below and you can just go on there, follow the instructions and enter for your chance to win one of these leaders. Um, I hope you guys like the uh, the deck profiles. It's going to be a little bit of a lengthier video, so bear with me. First two profiles are about five and six minutes long, but then Matt really goes into the play, the plays and the structure of his decks. So that'll be a little longer. Um, hope you guys enjoy again. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Hello. Hey, YouTube. This is uh, Chris from Universe X once again, and we're actually here with a Team SVB member and they actually just took third place for the uh, North Carolina Celebrations event. So uh, if you can just introduce yourself real quick. What's up, man? Uh, my name's Chesco. Uh, I've been playing since set one. I haven't topped an event in a long-ass time since set two or three, so I'm very happy. Um, I had a great day. I actually went undefeated, like, completely. I destroyed everybody I played against. Shout out to Jamal for getting destroyed. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I had an absolutely amazing day. Um, I think my deck was like 98, 99% perfect. Uh, I think I'd make one change on too, I guess. Sweet, sweet. So he said he's going to make one change. Let's see what he had today, though. And uh, four, it's Pan. So summon a creature, get plus 5k if it's 20k draw card. You know what Pan does. Uh, four Trunks, uh, four Yamcha, and double Zarbon. Um, Double Zarbon is like whatever. It's just another two drop to pressure. Um, but uh, Yamcha's where it's at. Um, four super combos, obviously. Double Legic, which is like a Cyber Dragon that cycles. Uh, double Burst Attack. Um, I played against Shenron Hand Control in uh, the, the final round, basically. And this was like the MVP, and I just could not get enough of this card. Uh, only like three pan. Um, this card's really, this card's won me so many games today, but. Uh, I ended up cutting it down for three for the Agent of Destruction. Same thing with uh, Double Shot. Uh, I never felt like I had enough mana to like do a lot of Double Shot, so I cut it down to three. Uh, two of the Agent of uh, Destruction Vegeta, when he comes in, he kills a 25k, um, and then he's a 25k himself, so he's like clearing board when he comes in. If you have a blue to charge, if you have an extra Zeno to charge, you can. Uh, I never did that. I just used him as a body, basically. Four digging deep, broke ass card. Uh, probably the best card in the whole deck. Swings for like 25 twice and draws two cards off your life. That's huge. Um, double of this chick. The only reason I liked her over time patrol or yeah, time patrol trunks was because she also buffed the leader, um, and I like that a lot. Um, four hit. Why would you not play four hit? Uh, four chain attack. Uh, one foo for Broly or Baby. Um, I, I also use it against veggies to hit the Kaba. Um, I mean, it's just spot removal. Uh, three Zeno, because um, it's Zeno, you know. Uh, four after image is like a really good negate. Uh, two on endings. I would take this out for um, what's the new one called? Give me everything you got. Is, it called? is that all you got? Is that all you've got? Because is that all you got? Might be like broken in the mirror match because you just double death ball two things and kill two things. Um, for this side. Double Kaba for anything that was like mill or anything stally or just uh, the hand destruction deck. Anything I needed to like awaken quicker. Um, double Dark Power. That was for the mirror match. Um, I ended up using it against hand destruction. Uh, Shinron and it won me both games that I won. Uh, double Ginyu. This card sucked. You don't need to side it. 
Uh, the agent of destruction, but you did thousand times better. Three Keelys. Um, I don't main Keelys because I don't I don't personally focus on Chains and O in the main because like you can win without Chains and O uh, pretty easily. Um, and then three Harus. Um, this shit's broke as fuck. Um, this is, like I said, uh, yeah. So like you get this off chain attack, you get two attackers and untap four mana, or the, you know it's just a free attacker. And then the the fucking secret MVP card, assassination plot. <laughs> oh shit, the set one card. Um, so you you choose two of their creatures up to 30k and pop both of them. This was for um, for freezer prison in case I played it. And every time I played against the baby, I just sided this shit in too, because like they'd get out a baby and I just assassinate it. And he'd be like, get fucked. <laughs> um, but like I said, it was pretty good. Round one, I played Clash of Fates Frieza. Uh, that was a 2-0. Round two, I played Mill. That, was, that went to game three. Uh, round three, I played Jamal. Shout out Jamal. He was playing uh, Victory Strike Broly. That was a good game. Um, but I played round four. Uh, baby. Played Baby round four. Played the Pan Mirror round five. Uh, first game of top eight, I played. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember. Oh, um, I, no, I don't, I do not remember what I played. Uh, then I played against Hand Destruction, and then I played against Burly Veggies one. So I went undefeated today. I, I feel great. Was there any particular uh, matchup or game that you felt you weren't ready for, that you couldn't overcome? I didn't play a single green Burly today, so I'm kind of happy about that. Um, I feel like the main, like, you have, like, you just have Chains and O. I mean, Chains and O just kind of fixes whatever the fuck problem. Um, I might side deck more heavily for Green Broly. Um, I'd probably bump this up to three just because that card's fucking good. And then my teammate was siding the Demigra, so I couldn't use them, so I'll side four Demigras tomorrow. Um, I, th I don't know. I thought I was ready for every matchup. I, um, <laughs> you just, if when in doubt, you just Chains and O and fucking draw better than your opponent. It's really easy. Get good. Get good. Get good. Get good. You should have drawn the fucking hit. Be good. <laughs> um, I, I feel great. I'm really happy. Um, I'm excited to play tomorrow. Uh, that's it, <laughs> I guess. Hello. My name is Matt Sublet. I just, my team, uh, Team SVB, Super Vegeta Brothers, just got third place at Charlotte in the team battle. I was using Broly, the new starter deck Broly. So this card's pretty cool. Um, on the front side, at the start of the game or any time, any active main, normally you use it on your first turn, but sometimes you wait depending on if you're trying to play around chains and up. You can search your deck for a one drop freezes army that's green and add it to your hand. And then the skill is negated for the rest of the game. And then he awakens on four by untapping an energy and drawing a card. On this side, he does a lot. First, he has this permanent that says if you have two or more battle cards in play, you can't play any more battle cards. So, it's, it's restrictive in that, and it's kind of good that they did that because this deck would be ridiculous otherwise. Now, it has an auto. So, sparking seven, you gotta have seven in your grave. When this card swings, you draw until you have six cards in hand. This means two things. This means against Janemba, if you have six, you don't draw when you swing, which is good, it buys you time. And if it's not Janemba, you can combo things just to search for your super combos and your, your yellow cards and things. So this, this leader's amazing. And then on top of that, Active main once per turn, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and one of your battle cards and KO them. And this is very important for the Broly chain. So, for the Broly chain, I play four of the one drop Broly. What this guy does is for one mana, when you play him, you take two life if your leader card is a Green Freezes army, like your Broly here. And then when this card is KO'd or removed from the field by a skill, you can take one or two life, and then special summon a four cost Broly BR from your hand. So you've got the one drop, which goes into the four drop. And so the four drop Broly has an active main, or active battle once per turn. This means anytime you can combo, you could use this effect once per turn. So your opponent's turn, your turn, kind of like Sensu Bean. You choose a card in your hand and discard it. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and KO it. So this effect is very powerful. It gets stronger as you go up the chain. And it's really good against aggro decks because you can sit on this guy and remove their little things. It's quite nice. And then he has an auto. 
When this card is removed from the battle area by a skill or KO'd, you can discard two cards and special summon the six drop Broly. So the six drop Broly is this one. So this is a six mana 25k double strike that you will summon on turn two, almost every turn two. And it has a few effects. Permanent, your opponent cannot activate counter skills that cost two or more when you swing with this card. So they can't Mafuba it. Great. It has an active battle once per turn, similar to the four drop, except in this case you discard a card and target a battle card your opponent controls, any level, destroy it. So this gets around anything except barrier. And then, of course, it has an auto. When this card is KO'd, or when it's removed from the field by a card effect, you can discard two cards and special summon the eight drop from your hand. So the eight drop. Max rarity. Max rarity, of course. Has to be. Has to match the playmat. So what the eight drop does, it's an eight mana 35k double strike. Your opponent can't activate counter skills that cost two or more when you swing on it, so no Mafuba when, they, when you swing with it. And then active battle once per turn, you can discard a card, target any card your opponent controls, ignoring barrier and KO it. So this does not have the float effect like the other ones do. And so most of the time you're going to be sitting on the six drop until your opponent removes it and then you play the eight drop. Or if you're going for game, you can use your leader effect or one of your various effects that removes your six drop from your board to get an extra double strike. And then there's one last piece to the chain and that's the secret rip. This is the Broly, the ultimate agent of destruction. Now this is not a Broly BR, it's just an OG Broly. And so as a result of that, it is not searchable or recoverable in any way in this deck. So don't mill it when Janimba's attacking. This is a double strike dual attack ultimate, 40k. It has an auto. When one of your green battle cards with an energy cost of seven or more is removed from the battle area by a skill or KO'd, you can discard your hand to special summon this card. Now you have to discard at least one card to summon this card, so you can't have this as your last card and then just summon it. And then his, uh, his other auto is insane. If you're at one life, when you attack with this card, your opponent discards their hand. That, that's nuts. That's, Janimba is free if you have this. It's crazy. Um, this card is, is definitely a must-have for this deck because if you don't have this against Janimba, it's, it's, it's a hard time. So that's it for the Broly chain. Now we have the Paragises. One drop dash pack Paragus, the Sacrifice. This card is also a one mana Freeze's army, so you can search it with your leader effect on the front side, which means if you open the one drop Broly, you search this. If you open this, you search the one drop Broly. Active main, once per turn, you choose a green card you control. Uh, that could be your, your Broly, that could be your field spell, and you send it to grave, draw a card. Okay, that's a once per turn. This card is nice and all, but the other Paragus is much better. And that is the two drop Paragus, the Rampage trigger. So, this card has a lot of text. It's a two mana 5k. When you play it, you get, from, when you play it from your hand, you get to activate a Broly control mechanism from your deck. Those who don't know what that does, bam. Yep, we'll get to it. And then, you activate it from your deck, and then active main, you can sack this card and sack one card you control, so that could be the field spell you just got or one of your Broly's, and you get to choose one of two effects. The first effect is you can search your deck for a Broly BR card that energy cost six or less, so you search for the piece you're missing, and the second effect is you can add from your grave to your hand any Broly BR, so he can recycle the eight drop if it's in grave, but he cannot search it from deck. And then the final Paragus is the Super Combo. This card is amazing. For those of you who play Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a Lore of Darkness. A lore which is of Darkness. Great because you run a lot of spells and you can just banish that. And it's pretty fantastic. This is the best Super Combo in the game. Sorry, Shigesh. And then finally, for the green cards, it's the Ties That Bind Bob. So, this card serves... Uh, pretty okay purpose. It resets your chain if it gets interrupted for one life instead of three. So if you play the one drop Broly from your hand, 
you take two damage. But if you play it from anywhere else, you don't. So you can play Ba, sack it with its effect, and summon the Broly. And so now when you pop the Broly to restart your chain, you only have to take the one damage. And so it's very important to be able to reset your chain because your opponent is going to try to interrupt you. Also, it lets you finagle your way to the Secret Rare. The Secret Rare has a lot of complicated plays to get to one life and play it. So it's quite, I found this card very necessary. Most of the time it's green mana or combo, but the times that you need it to be there, it's there. And that's very good. For the green spells, you run three control mechanism, two death ball, and three tragic awakening. We all know what death ball does. Broly Control Mechanism is a field spell. You activate it with your 2-drop, or you can pay 1 mana to activate it. And what it does is you can place it in your owner's drop area, in your drop area, to send one of your green battle cards to the drop, draw a card. So it triggers your Broly's. You, you crack your Broly's to go up the chain and get bigger and, and swing for a whole bunch of damage on turn 2. Tragic Awakening is probably the best card in the whole deck, honestly. Um, it's active, it is a 3 mana spell, only requires 1 green, and Sparking 7, you destroy one of your mana, you put one of your mana in your drop area, and you special summon a Broly BR with an energy cost of 6 or less from your grave. That's incredible. You turn 1, go into the 6 drop, turn 2, or turn 2, go into the 6 drop, turn 3, tragic if you're not afraid of your opponent. It's pretty... Pretty strong card, honestly. Three is a is a must in my opinion. I am not unhappy that I ran three. Four is a bit much, though. All right. Um, this is teams. I ran two Coronas in my main deck. For not teams, this will be the other one drop Paragus that when you play it, looks at the top five for a Broly BR, and when it's removed from the field by a skill, you untap green mana. And then finally, I ran yellow. So four called Bloodlust. Your leader is a Frieza's army. Run Cold Bloodlust. This card's amazing. Two Frieza's called. This serves the same purpose as Ba, in that you can reset your chain, but on yellow mana instead of green. That's why I ran two of this and two Ba. Also, if you're missing a piece and you don't have Rampage Trigger, this summons Rampage Trigger from deck. You do not get the field spell, but you still get the ability to search your deck for the piece you're missing. So this card is very, very nice. And then the last three cards, Master Roshi. Um, honestly, this can be any yellow card that combos for 5k. It doesn't matter. It just has to tap for Bloodlust. It's cute that you can negate stuff with it. I never did today. What made you go with the 4, 6, 8 line versus the 4, 7? So the 4, 7 lineup was okay before Paragus was announced, the 2 drop. But since we have him... You are consistently seeing your entire Broly chain without needing to have a backup plan. Like you don't need you don't need two different kinds of four drops in case you don't have this four drop. You will probably have this four drop because there's so many ways in this deck to get to it. Trigger, just drawing it sometimes works. You've got you know, the freezes call. A whole bunch of ways. Keep it in your opening hand, that kind of thing. So, no, I don't, I don't think you need the 4-drop, and the 7-drop just mills 3 cards, and that was fine, but now we have an ultimate, and you don't want to mill that. Okay, uh, was there any particular match that you felt more confident or less confident with the deck with? Um, so, this deck has a tough Janimba match, because if they see their super combos and pseudo combos, if they see their negates, they'll mill you out. They're not going to kill you by swinging on you, but they will mill you out. The way to handle that match is to just sit on two sixes, swing, swing constantly, and then the turn before you're about to die, go into the eight drop and push for as much damage as possible. Hopefully you can win. Or draw this card and win the game. You just you drop to three immediately against Janemba, you hold a one drop, and then when you see the secret rare and when you've got the play, you play the one drop, take two of your three life, and then your secret rare is set up. This card has an awesome interaction with Janimba the Leader. When you swing with it, the autos of the two cards trigger. Yours resolves first, so they lose their entire hand and they cannot discard a blue card to negate his attack. Really? Yeah. So That's a good, that's a good tip. Yeah. As far as good matches for the deck, um, Pan, really good. They have to have Chain Zeno. Vegeta Baby, really good. They have to have Chain Zeno. 
Anything with victory strike, really good. They have to answer this and this. They normally can't through Bloodlust. Um, a lot of the previous format decks, this, this destroys any hand destruction, really, because your leader refreshes your hand every time. It's, it's just sad for them. And if it's hand destruction Shinron, they can't even win the game if you're sitting on these two. Um, Shinron in general is pretty easy with this deck, honestly. Janimba's hard, and I lost to the skillless Goku. Because I didn't, I had, I had no, no idea what I was doing. Honestly, I hadn't played it before, and he just kept breaking the chain. And if you break the chain, then you can do pretty well against this deck. All right then. Well, thank you for your time and congratulations. Thank you. All righty then, and now we're here for the third and final deck profile of Team SVB, third place champions here at the uh, North Carolina Celebration Team Wars, and. Uh, I guess I'll start this off like the other one. Could you introduce yourself? Yep, my name is Chad Harris. Mm -hmm. I'm a long-time friend with uh, Matt and John Carlo, or Cheska. Right. from Rona. Good time. <laughs> I do feel like you're a little quiet, but that's all. That is all, oh, that is all. Yeah, my bad. No, it's all good. Soft-spoken is okay. So, looks like you played Janimba. I did. So I'm gonna need to know your exact deck list, as well as how you infuriated people all throughout um, the day, milling their hopes and dreams into the drop zone. So. That was about half the time. The other half the time I got my worst matchup, which was against uh, Yellow Broly. Mm -hmm. uh, that was rough, because Victory Strike was just a little too much to deal with most times. I'll combo the first one, the second swing, still gets you. It was rough. Uh, but to get into it, uh, the Janima package was just uh, four Psyche Demons, mm -hmm. three Childish, mm -hmm. the two Reality Benders, the four Demon Swords, and the four... Agent of Destructions. Angry Janimbus. Yeah. Um, this felt great all around. Um, never really felt like anything needed to be changed after initial testing. Uh, so we just kind of like decided this was perfect. We really wasn't a whole lot to talk about it. Um, this was great in the mirror. This was great every time. This is kind of meh. But it's still Janimba and it still worked. So. Um, the extra cards. I felt like we're pretty standard, but played the four beam, four dimensional magic, and the four Reese's coercion. Two Reese's. I'm sorry, yeah, two Reese's coercion. Um, I never needed more, never needed less. The uh, the super combo package is what I'm guessing is pretty standard. Just four of all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this was, you know, did what it did, what it's supposed to do. I didn't die. Mm -hmm. I didn't kill them. Um, what I felt like were the, the worst cards in the deck all day were these two Son Gokus striving to be the best, mm -hmm. and these Burners, Bonds, Burgers. <laughs> uh, I probably charged all four of them every game if I ever saw them. They were just useless most of the time. <laughs> No, uh, clearly those were your uh, designated yeah, energy slots. Yeah, it was. It was kind of disappointing. Like even the, in the matches where they could have been useful, there was just better options. So, um, we we tech the two guy strike viruses. Mm -hmm. Those were useful just about every time I had them. Um, the only time it didn't was whenever victory strike was on board. There's little I can do in that situation outside of just out combo. Um, yeah, uh, it was it was good. I, I, I might cut it or put it sideboard. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. That's a lot. Two is a lot. Two, it was expensive. Um, most most times it was still easy to get to, but it was just expensive. Uh, we played one unyielding chunks because it's good. Broken Judge Boyle. Yeah. Uh, as an alternate win con, we played two at all costs and two further destruction choppers. Um, just for the easy, like, cheeky win. Mm -hmm. It was pretty, pretty simple. Turn my leader sideways, no cards, drew cards, nice. stop them from killing me, kill them. The Janimba way. Yeah, the Janimba way. It worked out. It was, it was good. Would you like to go into your sideboard real quick? Yeah, yeah, easy. Excellent, excellent. The sideboard uh, actually helped out a lot, except for four cards that mm -hmm. I never got a chance to do anything with. And those four cards are Mercenary Tau, which we sideboarded 
for me specifically in the team event because Janema has a real hard time with hand destruction, mm -hmm. and I played no decks that did anything to my hand. That's a plus, though. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the rest of it was mirror matches and one easy match with a baby deck. Um, so this card was just absolutely dead. I did nothing with it. Um, this card was great. Uh, in, in every mirror or uh, any any match where I needed to get aggressive, mm -hmm. this this went in alongside the two original hands. Uh, this opened up my ability to just like win on turn four mm -hmm. or five. Uh, it, 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 the worst case is turn four. Um, but it, Sorry. Massive. Uh, I, it, just, it just opened up my ability to press my opponent down or like whittle them slowly until I wanted to swing, swing and win on all costs. Um, we sideboarded two father son uh, Galagons and two <laughs> To yes. With the baby and uh, the Broly. Yes. Specifically this. This not so much, but this for sure. Yes. Um, I played uh, this in the baby matchup. Opponent went into the big eight on turn two. Mm -hmm. And I played this, and then after that, just easily won the game. He lost control. Yeah, he just he couldn't do anything anymore. Um, every time I sideboarded it, I never had it when I needed it, and when I didn't need it, I didn't have the mana up for it, because I drew it off of a super combo. Fair. So, it's good, it still does stuff, um, and then we kind of had like two open spots, and we just put an objection in, and this card was really good in the mirror match, especially if I went second, but just because like, I get to attack first then, and I'm going to be up a mana against my opponent, so I'm going to get to do... Uh, my Janema chains first. Excellent. And that was that was really important. Um, even if I did uh, lose game one, this game two on turn on curve, pretty much one game. Uh, excellent, great. excellent. All righty then. Well, thank you. One more time, your name? Chad Harris. Chad Harris, everybody. And there you have it. Uh, one more time, give it up for Chesco, Chad, and Matt. Um, they played excellently. Um, a lot of this format is kind of weird at this tournament just because speculation, practicing online is pretty much the only exposure people have had. The set was only a day old. But um, like I said, there's a lot more content coming your way this week, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and help me grow the channel. Thanks, and you have a great day. Peace.